What was the damage again? 31. 31. Uh, he's not undead. Oh, he's not, so then take away... So it should be 21, right? Yeah, 21. Okay. All right. Uh, Wilmer, you still can't see in there, can you? Nah, I can't see anything. Uh, I see, like, a little smidgen. That's weird. Yeah, I can't. Let me put that there. And, uh, no, I oh, no, no, them, you so. should. Oh no, that's because yeah, your your range, just where you're standing, just can't see into there yet. You need to move off a little. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll move up then. <laughs> it's, it's just literally where you're. I mean, it's the perspective, it's your line of sight. Yeah. Yeah, I got you. I got you. Yeah. Uh, that's right. Uh, so, so my shit wasn't being crazy. It was just I should have just checked your vision. <laughs> okay, so there's, so there's only one person. In that in that little weird hallway thing that happened. From what you can see, but you can, from what I can you, see, you can you can hear more people really with your. Oh, okay, I can I can hear more. Um, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna check this out. We're gonna see what this is. Uh, Carlos, do you have full health? No. Uh, it says it's so on my token for some reason, but I have 80. Okay. Yeah, my token's also inaccurate as well. Okay, that's good to know. Yeah, yeah, it looks like that stuff's not uh, updating the suggestion of the word in such a way. I think I can override it, though. Maybe. No, I can't. If I'm reading this right, mass suggestion is everyone I can see, right? I believe it is. Let me give you send it to the game log. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, cast on BTT. Or no, that's asking me to roll. It's like display the display. display yeah. Did that not go? Yeah, it was broken. I'll just go to your character sheet. It's all good. Um, oh, there to send the game log. Try that. There it is. Um, that you can see within range. Yep. All right. So. And they must be able to understand you, too. Yeah. Zip, zap, zoop. Oh, I'm going to fly into here. Holy shit. <laughs> I'm going to fly right here. <laughs> like, 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 once I get into the area, I mean, I guess they get opportunity attacks from the Bone Lord, uh, the Cultus, and the Zombie. And take those. Uh, first one is the Bone Lord. Twenty-seven. Reaction restarts on my turn, right? Uh, yes, but a twenty. If I get another shoot. Twenty-seven from the Bone Lord. All right. Well, we're gonna let that one go through because that ain't gonna do anything. Okay. Uh, it's a twenty-seven damage total, and I also need you to make a either a Dex or Strength saving throw. Twenty-seven, and then a Dex saving throw. Feel his, he slashes you with his bony fingers, and you feel that necrotic energy just pour into that. Oh, energy. Jesus Christ! Ten. And with that, he grabs you out of the air and holds you in place. Uh, you are not flying anywhere. With that. So I'm like right here. Yeah, and uh, since you're now restrained as well, um, hmm. we get some advantage on some attacks against you. Uh -oh. All right. Well, I guess I got there, so nobody got. He's the only one that uh, got to attack me. Yep. Yeah. Right? Exactly. Um, so I'm kind of like looking at him and I just kind of like reach back and look at all the cultists uh, and I scream out in a mass suggestion. Um, uh, the Bone Lord doesn't like him here. Uh, send him back through banishment or death. Ooh, all right. What's it's a wisdom and what's the save? It's a wisdom 17 for everybody I see. So, I mean, I don't know if the zombie can hear me, but. 17. Um, oops, there we go. That's the right button. So, there's a new. Uh, I can quick roll for everyone now. Um, oh, nice. So, the green one succeeds and the rest of them fail. And sub note, it's not concentration. Cool. Uh, yep, and it's da -da -da, last 24 hours. Alright, sounds good. Can I? 
Nah, it's too late now. So you said he doesn't like it here. Banish him back. Banish him or kill him. Okay. Anything else for you? Uh, that's it for right now. Okay. Um, brings us to. Let's see. Give him a little. Armed, an orange one, who is about to come at you, Wilmore, to strike at you, but then hears your words. And, uh, let's see, something. Okay. He, uh, begins to turn around and run away. <laughs> uh, oh, okay, cool. And that'll bring us to the one that's the zombie that's south of you. Uh, you are in the Bone Lord's hands. He is going to try to take a couple attacks at you with advantage. Um, 12 to hit will not hit. Gosh, garbage. And uh, 21 to hit. Oh, nope. Nope. All right. Nice. Um, Fang, you can go oh, roll, smack roll damage you, for him now. Yeah, baby. I'm going to stop telling you. Yeah, but I can't see him though. That's the issue. Uh, uh, you, can you not from your area? No. You, you it won't let me. me. You, you can see the it purple will... one. The cultist. No, this zombie right here. No, that's blacked out for me, for some reason. I can click on my guy. I can't see through that door for some reason. You can't see it through that door. No. It's. At all. At all. Carlos, you can see through the door, right? See. Uh, yeah, you don't see the big-ass Bone Lord sitting there? No. Okay. I me, can't see anything. Let me let me try this for you. He's blind, you oh, guys! There we go. Oh, Thank you. No. It's funny, because I, I just erased the door fully. The door was opened, but I just erased it instead. Oh, uh, yeah, that works. Okay, cool. So yeah, that that zombie down there is what one did it. But go ahead and roll again for the Bone Lord. Yeah. He's got well more in his hands. Fang's only weakness. He can't no, see through gonna... open doors. I, 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 <laughs> I like what I'm able to see now. <laughs> All right. Uh, five damage. Cool. Uh, Will Moore, <laughs> Bone Ward has you in his grasp, and you see his other three hands work furiously at you. Um, Twenty-three to hit. Bing. All right, just throw a shield around it. Uh, 18 to hit. 27. 18 to hit again. And uh, with this one, he's furious that you just keep on uh, being able to block his attacks with the shield. He just takes you and throws you into Fang. Um, and <laughs> let's see. Fang, I need you to make a dexterity saving throw. I'm like reaching out for a hug. <laughs> uh 16 uh okay whoops i need to do three more uh wilmore you take 17 points of bludgeoning Fuck damage you. And, <laughs> three more <Fuck> and, <laughs> and, and and fang you do as well i, I take 17. only eight then yes yeah evasion or whatever those last three were personal. <laughs> Damn right. Damn right. And uh, after he I throws you... over here now, right? Yeah, you're, you're right next to Fang. Uh, oh, where'd I go? Oh, no. Oh, I, I did. did I move you by accident? Yeah, you can move me. Technically, I guess my globe's still there. Uh, yeah, it would stay right there. But uh, the Boon Lord, his hands, bony hands, reach into the door frame again. He stands up. Uh, he kind of bends over in an awkward way. His like legs are almost up to his head. And he stands back up tall. And looks back around the room, uh, surveying all around. Um, yeah. Let's see. What is my bonus action again? Oh, yeah. I forgot I can do this. Uh, you see him like point back at the zombie that's behind him. And uh, just kind of points back in your guy's direction. And he's, the zombie comes ushering his way back into here. And uh, Wilmer and Fang, you guys are... Or Wilmore, you're prone. Fang, you're not. Uh, Wilmore, down on the ground. He's going. This zombie takes a couple attacks at you. Um, uh, Fourteen mm -hmm. and a twenty-five. Nope. No. Uh, 
will not do it. All right, so that brings us to this cultist. Um, FYI, I can't add uh, prone to my character. I'm clicking it. It's not doing it. Um, you have to do it on your character sheet for those types of conditions. Oh, okay. All right, gotcha. Yep. Um, the yellow cultist, uh, you can barely see him behind the Lord of Bones, but he can, begins to run away as well. Uh, the green one, actually, as he's running away, the green one sees him. Uh, knows the spell that was cast out to be a, some sort of. Uh, actually, let's let's do something. Let's make a. Uh, yeah, we'll do this. Uh, maybe not so wise on it then. Uh, he's curious as to why these guys are running away. Um, but then he goes up and approaches uh, behind his boon lord, and he readies an action. This is soul wreck. Okay, <laughs> first things first. I'm going to do a double attack. The last guy on this guy with Sinai. I can this orange fuck. I'll go first this time. Don't bring her. Uh, it's a 15. Uh, 15 on the guy up top. Yeah, the that, orange guy. That will miss. Also, uh, as Moria in the Discord above VTT says, uh, if they're using other tab, or are you guys using other tabs or the in-game sheet for the HP? In-game sheet. In-game sheet. In -game. Okay. It says you can try to force an update by moving your HP up or down in the game sheet. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's fine. Yeah, but uh, yep, that hit or that misses rather. Uh, but I'll use my lucky. Oh, okay. He's so lucky. I'm thinking of my mom's in my ear. He's a star. Hell yeah. Slash, slash, slash in the lonely night. Let's see. To roll an additional d20. See, senor. And that's an eight. So well, that's, that goes on top. It's, right? No, it's you re-roll the d20 instead. Ah, uh, son of a bitch. You can choose to spend an extra luck here on Okay, so never mind. So then I, I miss. Yes, that would be uh, a miss. Actually, what's what's uh, your what's your plus on it? Twelve? No, that hits. Twenty hits. Yeah. Oh shit! Yeah. Re -rolled, re -rolled, <laughs> Twenty Woo! hits. Yeah. Fuck yeah, it's the yeah. same as as what I have. On my yeah. ones. Uh, I love it. Essentially, he's get, he gets three luck points. Yeah. 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 Okay. Cool. So uh, good good call on that. I didn't. Uh, and uh, let me do my damage on that. Well, the th damage is there. It's the uh, is it there? nine plus, uh, I guess, just rage damage, 11. He ain't undead. Cool. So, Actually, I'm uh, sorry. Uh, he is undead. I apologize. So, yeah, he takes the full damage. Oh. Cool. Okay, so I'll go again. Oh yeah, that's a twenty-nine and twenty-one damage. Oh hell yeah, solid. Uh, demon sword, baby. There's slowly twenty-one with uh, fifteen damage. Ooh, massive swings on this one, and you see his cloak engulfs with flames. At that, he has to put it out quickly. But uh, a couple of massive slashes on his upper body. It's hard to lift up his his wand and staff now. Yeah, now comes Brutus. Shopping. Oh, fuck. One. Oh, yeah. 23 to hit. Oh, yeah. And that's 10 damage. Solid, Four. solid. That is nine. I will miss. Nine but, will miss. Uh, he's going to use his bonus action to use second wind. So there he gets go. 1d10 act plus my fighter level, which is 10. Plus his fighter level. Oh, what's his fighter? Uh, he is seven. Okay, so seven. Nice. And that is uh, five plus seven, so twelve back. Nice. I'll add it on his token there. Awesome. Anything else uh, for you? That is it, senor. Cool. Brings the fang. Oh, righty. Um. So, I'm eyeing up uh, Bone Thugs, and 
What I do is. Oh, a note. Sorry, half his uh, his movement's been reduced by ten feet. Got it. All right, go on, Fang. And I'm just gonna like kick the ground right before this zombie, but a burst of fire is gonna come up from the ground since he's with within ten feet, and it's gonna try and burn him. Ooh. Uh, what is this? Uh, this is just an unarmed strike, but the, my D4 was fire. Gotcha, cool. So you're going, you're going for the bone wood, right? Yeah, bone thugs. 19? 19, <laughs> will, 19 will miss. Bone thugs and bitch. All right. Uh, I'll try with the other foot. Oh, yeah, there we go. 28. 28 will hit. Yeah, and I'll make that one a stunning strike. Ooh. So he's going to make a uh, con saving throw, DC 17. Roll for damage. There we go. Right, Nine. Eighteen. Damn. Fuck him. Uh. So fourteen total damage. Oof. Bonus action. More fire. Twenty-one. Uh, twenty-one will hit. Hell yeah! I'm gonna do another stunning strike. Sounds good. So, let me roll for damage real quick. Do you want to make the con save? Uh, 22. Fuck, man. Oh, hold on. Didn't mean to roll that. I meant to roll the d6. All right. Um. All right. And. All right. That'll be my turn. Okay. Uh, brings us to. Oh. Well. Cuomo. Cuomo, okay, he is going to ready an action for when if uh, Bone Thugs tries to uh, grapple someone or restrain someone, he's going to attack. Like try and like stop it essentially. So when when Bone Thugs attacks someone, Cuomo is going to attack. Yeah, the name it's got a nice ring to it too. <laughs> There's something about it. <laughs> bone thugs and bitchin'y. That's what it is. It's that thuggish, thuggish bone. Anything else for you? <laughs> God, they were so sick. Uh, that's gonna do it. <laughs> All right. Um, here's some. Actually, you guys don't hear this. Something happens though. Uh, Stuff right. happens. People are upset. That's right. Uh, <clears throat> Fang, go ahead and roll damage. Um, yep. This guy. I thought you said he wasn't undead. He, he is. I, I okay. might have uh, I might have said that before, but he is. All right, um, three, three. Okay, Solrak, this, this guy holds up his staff right at you, uh, and flings it right in your face, and you watch as a black flame shoots out at you. Uh, with some saving throw, please. <clears throat> shoots it literally right in your face. Uh, the Eleven. Floss. I'm gonna use my indomitable. Okay, go ahead and uh, do it again, then. Money. Seventeen. No way. No way. I mean, he's cool. Uh, you take nine points of damage, uh, necrotic damage, then, and uh, is that half? That is half. It was it was eighteen total. Um, so nine. Uh, that searing light that you feel like could have blinded you, you negate it and block that out. Uh, and he's pissed off about this. Uh, he wanted to blind you, so then he takes a swing with his maul, his uh, his staff tries to hit you over the head and you dodge under the first attack and the second attack um and you watch as some of he with that strike of necroticness that flew out at you you watch as a bit, little bit of black energy s siphons back into his staff and goes down and into his body and a little bit more of that black ichor kind of pulls out from his eyes um uh as he missed me I'm going to uh right post on him okay go for it Oh yeah, that's a twenty-three. Mm -hmm. uh, you said he is undead, right? Yeah, yeah. So that's twenty-five plus my D ten. Hold on. Solid. Nice. Uh, he only gets an extra one from that. Oh! Still massive though for reaction. 
Uh, yeah, you dodge out of two of them, out of the way of two of them, you see a, a way underneath to just pierce up at him, slashing into his gut area. You watch the Radiant Blade just kind of extends out from beyond him, too, as you pull it back out, and he's holding on to it as some of that, like, black acre is pulling out from his chest area, and he is looking very weak right now. Um, alright, that brings us to this cultist top. Takes a step over here. Um, Wilmer, you're still prone, right? Yes. Okay, so no, it's, it's not updated. Yeah, I, he, if it's on the sheet. Yeah, he's not gonna shoot at you. Then he's gonna shoot at uh, Solrak, um, flaming thing of energy. But he could shoot at me. I guess misses. I would get cover from Brutus. Yeah, you, so that'd be a uh, tw <laughs> twenty-nine. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> and, and, and disadvantage because uh, you're prone. It's a yeah. attack. Twenty-nine at disadvantage. I'll take that. Yeah. Uh, he runs away a little bit and back into this room up here. And that'll bring us to you, one more. Um, am I within opportunity attack of the Bone Lord? Uh, yes. Okay, I don't he's, like he's got quite the reach. Much. He does. He does, doesn't he? Um, I am going to. You know, let's just do it. Um gonna like crawl like I can still move fully or is each one difficult terrain if I'm if, if, if I remain prone uh yeah it just takes double movement you just oh, two, it takes two double movement per foot, yeah uh, so I'd be able to get like here ish and I, I don't have disadvantage when attacking while prone right um you do. The creature has disadvantage on attack rolls. Yeah. Oh, I do. Okay. Um, so I guess I would just stand... Uh, or no. No, I could do half. So I'm like... Oh, yeah. I guess I would, uh, I would stand up so then he doesn't get disadvantage. And... Okay, well, he doesn't get disadvantage because I would stand up and walk over. But in reality, I would like... I would like army crawl through Fang underneath a Cuomo and then like stand up and attack. But you know, that's, that's what would happen. Um, okay. so, so opportunity if you're, attack. If you're doing that, yeah. If you're down on the ground, then he has advantage on that attack then. Well, I mean, I'm saying I would stand up and move over. Okay. But you're saying he cool. just wants to do it and not this get cool damage. Me but, doing but, it. You can 20. still go yeah. through the same space since I'm a halfling. That's right. So there's really I no issue. I thought you were crawling the whole time. Um, he wants to have yeah. his cake and eat it. Just I would it. want to crawl because it would be a lot cooler <laughs> if like, I crawled in fear and did all this stuff. But yeah, we won't because it's miss. lame. All right, cool. They both missed. So then I stand up and I'm going to attack the guy north of Solrak. Okay, cool. Um, he's got my hex stuff on him. He does. So that's one. That's 17 and 11. 17 will miss. Shouldn't we be able to see uh, from Chattington's Drift Globe? Uh, oh, it's, it's not attached. It's to just him. light. Never, yeah, right. it's just light. Uh, 24 and 19 damage. Uh, 24 hits, 19 damage. Uh, how do you do this one, Wilmore? So, as I said earlier, even though technically I would stand up and walk through, so <laughs> can deal with the mechanics, I'm I'm terrified of the Bone Lord, so I like bear crawl underneath Fang's feet and like roll out, like grab uh, Cuomo's leg and like pull myself up and then I just see him over to the right and I just fucking blast him. <laughs> I love it. And then he's done. Yep, and you see a bit of his energy pools with, from your <laughs> you just hear it. You just hear the love. <laughs> some of that some of that energy pools from his body with that eldritch blast and goes back into you as you uh, rejuvenate a bit of health. <laughs> oh yeah. And then while I'm standing up, I guess I, I would have moved my full uh, full feet. I'm gonna like peek around Fang, and I'm gonna blast. Uh, I'm gonna blast the zombie that's sitting there with my third one. If I can do that. Yeah, go for it. And then bonus action. Oh, another max damage. It's 23 to hit and a 14 damage. Nice. 
and then I'm gonna drink another uh, greater health potion. Love it. Cool. Drink that back. Uh, something happens in the hallway behind you guys, and that'll do that. Uh, this one shot Wilmore comes crawling on over this way. I uh, goes to goes to attack you, Wilmore. Got it. Just attacked him uh, with that charge. There we go. Natural twenty. Jesus. Um, I still got to roll my greater uh, health potion. That is going to be 17, 24, and 27 points of damage total. 27? Alright, I'll do that. I'll roll my thing. Alright, 27. And he goes to do it again. Another natural 20. Jesus Christ. Um. Uh, Silver bars. Uh, I, yeah, silvery bars. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you only go one of those. <laughs> Throws down another one. Uh, Sixteen. All, All right, that's a miss. All right. Uh, I'm gonna roll my greater healing in yeah. a second. And he takes two damage. Two damage. Love it. Because now I can see him. <laughs> um. Okay. What's there everyone at right now? Because the. Uh, are updating. Wouldn't you seven? like to know? I 41. do. One. Forty-one. Please tell him <laughs> so he doesn't kill somebody by mistake. Uh, what are you saying? 67. 77? What? I am at 37. Okay. Um, up at the top of the round, uh, go ahead and roll damage for the Bone Ward. Yeah. What are you rolling damage on, by the way? Uh, I have a diamond in my uh, my helm of brilliance, and so whenever there's undead within, oh, the light hits. Uh, it. Nice, yes, yes. that's yeah. sick. So literally, just every sick. round they they take damage from that. It's no just go. Ugh, yeah. uh, All right, there's so much purity with that fang. All right, uh, at the top of the round, uh, the Bone Lord. You guys see, he extends up fully tall. And he stretches out his bony arms. You hear them crack in different areas. And then his jaw opens up and immediately black smoke and energy starts pluming out of it. And just oh, great. ripples out all throughout the room. Kind of just shakes everything out from around him. Pushing backwards this pattern of death. I need everyone to make a constitution saving throw. Ah, Congratulations to the flat. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> oh no, Fang! <laughs> God save. Let's see what I got. Number oh, one. Oh no, Fang Lang. Thirteen. You know what? I'm gonna silvery bar that. I'm gonna uh, inspiration that. I was gonna say silvery barbs. What? <laughs> oh yeah, no, a nine and eleven right. for twelve. Do. Eighteen. Uh, I'm gonna use a lucky and uh, do it again. Okay. What's everyone's health at? 41. 37. 18 con save. 21. Yeah, 21. All right. Now my health. My con save is 21. My health is 77. All right. Fuck. Um, Cuomo's fucked. <laughs> ah, Cuomo and Bruce are so fucked. Whoops. Um, yeah, so necrotic energy ripples out in this room. 58 points of necrotic damage. For everyone that uh, under uh, 19. Oh, not me. I'm dead. I'm also de how much damage? 58. Damn. Then what about me? You take half of that, Solrak. Uh halved half as half. well. So 29 halved is 14. Ooh. With Lord. that <laughs> Solrak, you watch this um, of death energy just spread out in this room around you and instantly everyone falls down unconscious except for you oh shit alright um and with that he stands fully into the room standing up tall with everyone surrounded around him lying for all intents and purposes dead uh he it's gonna end his turn there as he just stares around at everyone. And uh brings us to the next cool! gonna bring us to the green cultist now, who uh whoops. Yeah, he's going to he's curious where everyone else has run to. He's gonna run up and catch up with them. 
Uh, brings us to Solrak. I look around. And I see... A fucking death. Destruction. In the room. And I look at Dawnbringer. And I said, Dawnbringer! Don't let us fall into the darkness. Don't let us fall into the pain. Don't let us fall into hell. And Dawnbringer will come out and just let out this beautiful light, this heavenly light. Baby, that's a mass. Cure wounds. Six creatures that I choose within 30 feet of me. Of course, will be all of my friends here. And I get to pick. And uh, what is it? What is it? What is it? It's 3D8. Plus my spell casting ability. Which Amen. Is, which is plus two, I believe, for you. Your intelligence? Yeah. Oh, everybody gets 17 back. Oh, Can you, you put me back on the table? I had to myself. You do. <laughs> <laughs> Were you getting another character ready? <laughs> I, did, yeah, I was like, alright, here she comes! She's been baking for like, a year. <laughs> so, that necrotic energy ripples out throughout the room. Still, Raki watches all your party members fall down to the ground one by one. And, you know, with this new relic of Lathander in your hands, the Dawnbringer glowing this beautiful radiant light from it uh you know that you had acquired some new powers from it and one of them being the ability to spread that healing energy of lathander throughout not only yourself but your party members in dire straits and i mean what more of a time and need than right now when everyone except for yourself falls down to the ground and all at once he watches their eyes flash open rejuvenated with a bit of energy and a pep in their step and ready to go back at this burn lord with all they got. Oh yeah. And uh now. you can take inspiration for saving the day like Yeah, that, that was not <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think it'd do that. That's I think awesome. The I think the organs gave you the help action on that. Too. That's fucking awesome. <laughs> that was not the I was like I was like, where the fuck is he going with this? Did you guys know uh, like he had anything up his sleeve like this? Not yeah. a damn clue. Awesome. I was, like, I was I was about to start writing up my backstory for uh so, <laughs> so, pick so... out your spells, Luke. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> so that thing could do a mass cure wounds? That's yeah. fucking sick. Once a day. Once a day, that's fucking sick. Yep. Yes, can thank the best DM ever for that. Yeah, uh, yeah, I knew it did the I knew it did the restoration thing, but I didn't know it did fucking cure roots. That's fucking <laughs> sick. Hell yeah. <laughs> Woo! I am about to shit my pants. So uh as far as actions go good, does that count as an action? That, that is absolutely an action, bonus? yes. He can he can chug a greater healing potion, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not multiple. I could. <laughs> but no, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and uh, walk up to the Bone Lord and use my bonus action. Uh, you can only attack as a bonus action if you use the attack action. Got it. Okay, so in that case, I will take the wind potion. <laughs> you, you do have like you know second wind still available or 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 yeah potion. Uh, I use I believe I use uh, second wind. Okay. I did. Uh, my action search him. Never mind. So second way that might actually still have. Um, yes, I do. I'm gonna use that. Go for it. Uh, so what's one d10 plus ten? Ooh, so 18 back. Ooh, solid. Almost max. Damn, oh, buddy. Great healing that uh, round. So you went up like tw uh, 33 that round. Yeah, nice. And now Brutus is going to. Uh, take a chomp at fucker but he's alive that's right but i can't it seems the yeah, guy the, the bone lord for you yep right to number one i assume misses with a 14. it does safe assumption okay oh and uh, i'm never gonna ask with an ass oh Yep, both miss, unfortunately. Uh, <laughs> Brutus sees a big old uh, chew toy, a pile of bones right in front of him, but he can't seem to bite at it. Son of a biscuit. Okay, then on to Fang. 
Cool. Great round, though. <sighs> That's fucking sick, dude. That was great. <laughs> I'm right. gonna sleep good tonight, boys. <laughs> <laughs> so... When I regain the health from uh, Solrak, uh, my eyelids open, but my eyes are rolled backwards, glowing the super bright white light as my body just effortlessly just kind of like sticks back up. <laughs> and not only are my eyes glowing this bright white light, but my helm of brilliance is as well as I take a diamond from it and crush it into my hand as I pass prismatic spray. For some reason, my sheet is not working. Um, so that is a DC, where is it? DC 18 deck saving throw for Bone Thugs. Uh, yeah, actually for both of them, I believe, and the zombie, because uh, you'll be able to hit him with that yeah. cone, I believe. Oh, yes, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so dex save for Bone Thugs will be, let's see, um, 23. Fucking A, man. And then, sorry if that didn't send everyone, there we go. And zombie will be a, he's probably going to fail, yeah, a 6. So, uh, so go ahead and uh, roll a d8. Yeah. Ooh. Eight. 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 What is that again? So he gets struck by two rays. Roll twice now. Yeah. So let's see. Two d8. Yep. And uh, I think you re-roll any eights. So five and a seven. That'll be a blue and a violet. Blue is 10d6 cold damage, so go ahead and roll that damage, and then we'll see if you need to worry about the next one. 37. You see as he's Jeez. about to lurch towards you, he turns into a frozen statue of a zombie, and he's, he's dead. Uh, yeah. Oh, it was half as much on a successful save. So zombie or boom would take. Yeah, he would. 18. He would take 18. But and damn it, I didn't want a seven because I don't. He probably can't be blinded, can he? Um. Let's see. What's so it's uh he needs to make another wisdom saving throw. Yeah. Uh, he rolls a twenty one. Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah. No effect on him essentially. On that one, if it successfully saves three times. Oh no! Yeah. Yep, he's fine. No effect on him. He does take a little bit of that cold damage, shattering off from the zombie, but nothing too crazy. Anything else? Uh, yeah, bonus action. I take a... A greater healing potion. <clears throat> awesome. Nice. Oof. Almost max. Yeah. Nice. Two under. That's crazy. All right, anything else for you? That's it. Cuomo is just going to fly back. Okay. Probably smart. All right. Um, uh, and I can't see. There we go. All good. With that, actually, let me go ahead and I'm going to turn on share vision on him for you. All right. Thank you. So, uh one of these cultists that Wilmore gave command to, you, you see Wilmore, you guys all see now, ends up in that room up to the north, um, along with another one. They're standing around that uh, esoteric circle on the ground. All right. Let me delete all Rand from here. We're like all dead as shit. <laughs> uh, this purple one uh, cultist sees that they're up here and starting to chant something, uh, flipping through their pages, and he looks back at them curiously, but then turns back to Solrak and shoots out a flaming bit of energy. Uh, 21 to hit. Uh, 21. I'm going to use my protective wings to say, 
Fuck off. Awesome. Yep. <laughs> Spectral dragon wings uh, appear around you and block out that necrotic flame from striking into you. And that'll bring us to Wilmore. All right. So I'm going to uh, just kind of say out to Solrak and Fang. Uh, bring the fucker down, but... Uh, Maybe something else, and I'm gonna just start sprinting up up here towards everyone. As I'm running, I'm gonna cast suggestion on this guy, and it's gonna be the same thing. Uh, the Bone Lord wishes to go home through banishment or death, or through banishment, okay. or, or no, 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 no. Uh, join your friends in banishing the the uh, Bone Lord so he can go home. Right. It's a seventeen. Looks down at you <clears throat> and then back up at his friends, and seems to stay facing his friends after. Turning around. All right, and then I'm gonna hold on. I, I, 15. I'm gonna move all. I'm gonna move all the way up. 20, and then bonus action is gonna be. Uh, yeah, it's a level two. I need another. Drink another potion. Okay. Anything else? In turn. Cool. That's it. Uh, orange one up top. Now that you're up there, you can hear. He's flipped through uh, a tome and trying to find the right page and. Um, seems like he does right at the end of his turn. Um, that brings us to the Bone Lord. He stands up tall and sees that you guys have all stood up again. And uh, actually, Wilmore, I'm sorry, you wouldn't have been able to make it that far because you used hacker movement to stand up after you're unconscious. Um, uh, okay. All right, yeah, put me wherever I can, but I, just, I still have distance to get him, like though. Ten. It's 30 foot. Yeah, yeah it's, it's 30 foot, so. Cool. Perfect. Alright, so, uh, Boon Lord, Fang, go ahead and roll damage. Yep. Yeah. I'd be like over here, kind of, uh, a oh. little bit of protection from their bodies. That's cool. Alright. Um, goes over to the one that just helped everyone come back to life, and he goes to viciously attack him a few times. But that blinding light of the Dawnbringer stops him from being able to attack the first one with the natural one. Uh, second one, though, is, is a 25, 27, and a natural 20. <sighs> We're gonna... Uh, uh, 20. We're gonna, uh, uh, the nat 20. <laughs> All right. Uh, I see that and go, not so fast, big boy. Still a 26, but, uh, That's yeah. fine. So, three of those get through. We're looking at... This is the slashing damage. Ooh. 48 slashing damage, tab to 24. Thank God I had that last round. And uh, 14 points in necrotic damage total, that's already halved. And I need you to make either a strength or dex saving throw. Strength it is. Nat 20! Nice. Ooh. That's a 30 so total. Wrong. Yeah, he cannot seem to hold you in place as he tries to pick you up again to grapple you. Uh, after you take the impact of many of these um, scratch and claw attacks. Um, brings us to this yellow cultist. He runs on into this room. Uh, you guys can all see he's joined around the circle right there and seems to be uh, joining with these cultists. Does that give me an opportunity attack? No, that was he was around the back. That was in the hallway. He oh, had, I would have gotten. Uh, never mind. I would have gotten an opportunity attack on Bone Thugs. Uh, yeah, you you could have. Go go for it. Oh, now twenty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> go for it. Wait, man, what is this one? All right, that's so great. Uh, seven, but so fifteen. Oh yeah, twenty-one. Nice. Um, okay, so uh, yeah, you take a strike into him, of course, but he gets over and gets Silrak anyways. Uh, one of these cultists, you guys can see up at the top. Um, I can't so actually. Can you not see him up there? I can't see anything. Be Anything? See, like, well, I mean, I can see, like, to here. Maybe because I'm standing in front of him. No, let me let me go ahead and erase no. this wall. Uh, erase area. I think it's because of the. Uh, I think 
the 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 light from my uh, helm of brilliance is overriding everything. That is a possible. No, it shouldn't. Um. Oh wait, let me. Do this. It's just the aura from that, I think. Yeah, it's I think not. It's not even. Uh, I'll, I can turn off that aura now because there's not even anyone really to worry about. But. Um. Okay, you can. Can you see into that room though? Now to the north. No. Try refreshing your thing. Um, but yeah, so Wilmore and whatever up there, you guys can see one of these cultists run into the room, and he goes to yell at one of the one of them, and uh, he grabs him by the shoulder and starts shaking him, and uh, gives him a bit of slap across the face, and the cultist looks over and he shakes out of whatever was afflicting him. He can shake out of the mess. You, it's as, as long as you take any sort of damage. Oh, I didn't I, know that was I, mass suggestion, I, I, but all right, I cool. So. Double check now on I can't that. see. Ah, oh, there we go. Uh, yeah, I think no, it's just I can't see. Just of course, it's if you or any of your companion. Oh, if only you or any of your companions do it. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, man, that's six level, baby. Yeah, I love that. Cool. I'll, I'll double check. Yeah, you can't sit with now, us. The other one's got <laughs> can you see in that room now? No. Really? Yeah, I can only see like a certain radius. How far out? Just the room? I can see to there. To there. Let me turn your... your... That there. would make... That, that might make sense, though. I... How about now, Luke? I can see further. I, I can't see anything now. Nothing now? Nothing. Hey, we got two Wilmore tokens out here. What is going on? <laughs> what? I just refreshed again now. Yeah. Um, you should have, vi I'm turning your vision off, I'm going to turn it back on. Alright, um, but it is Solrak's turn, so Solrak, you can do your turn, Luke, let me know if your vision changes. I'm going to... So yeah, there's three still under suggestion, right? Correct. And this guy's charm too. Cool. I'm going to, uh, walk up to, run up to the Bone Thuggy, and, uh... Take a slash with Dawnbringer. Sounds good. Yeah, you can you can just stand where you were standing. That is twenty-three. That'll hit. And obviously this thing's undead, right? So uh, that's obviously. twenty-one. Yep. Uh swing again. Okay. Oh. Oh. The twenty-eight <laughs> with twenty-three more damage. Nice. I'm going to uh, go ahead, use my last thing to uh, chug a healing potion. Greater healing, actually. Okay, great. Will you take a screenshot if you can? I'm just curious what you're seeing. Or just a picture. Uh, it, uh, it, I don't see back. anything right now. Let me delete your token and add you again. Uh, 13 health back, nice. Yep. And hey, now... I got the, I, I got removed too, by the way. I'm gonna X out and just. And Brutus is also gonna take a charm. Two charms, actually. My Go campaigns. for it. All right, Wilmore, you should be out again. Yeah, I, I got removed from initiative. Twenty-four, yeah, baby. Gotcha. What was what was your number? Do you remember? Uh, um, I, I was right after purple. That's all I remember. Gotcha. So nine damage. Nine. Uh. Nine damage on Bone Lord. Oh, wait, what was what was the? Hit? Oh, nat twenty, Brutus. Nice. Yeah, he sees that uh, big old chew toy for him to chew on a bit. I guess that'll be six plus one plus. Yeah, Nate. I think it's just because I'm too far away. So ten damage there. Gotcha. You should still you should be able to see into that room a little bit though. You should see the purple guy in there and the green guy. No, I can only see what it seems like 30 feet. Okay. Uh, so what was the total on that? Uh, I believe 10. Uh, that should be 17 damage, right? To max D6s and then five. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Whew. Yeah, he goes and chomps away at the big leg of the Boon Lord and he's gnawing away at it and trying to pull it off, but yeah. Uh, Bone Lord looks down at him, not so happy about that. <laughs> uh, Fang? 
All right. Um, I'm going to move... Right. Actually, to this side of Bone Thugs. And keep coming at him. With a 28. Oh, yeah, that'll hit. 10. Fourteen damage. Keep it coming. Oh yeah. Thirty will hit. Ooh, ten more plus another D six. Uh one. Eleven damage. Nice. And then bonus action. I will spend a key point to do uh flurry of bows. Um, uh, but I'll do one hit. So 25. Okay. 25 will hit. 13 plus. Nice. 19 damage on that. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. And then I will, um, heal myself for the last one. With. Through his fury of attacks, uh, yeah, you hear a couple of his bones crack underneath your punches, and he definitely seems to be cracking and uh, being weakened a bit. Hell yeah, and I regain... Oh yeah! Max health. Nice. Alright, anything else for you? Uh... That's it, and Cuomo is just gonna uh, kind of just chill in this hallway. Okay. Um, that'll bring us to the blue cultist up top. Um, he seems to be flipping to the proper page that the orange one has found, and uh, seems to be about ready to join in on whatever they are doing. Uh, same with the purple one. He runs on up there a bit and uh, makes his way around the circle to join in with the party and that brings us to Wilmore. Uh yeah, I'm opportunity to tank for the Born Lord, right? Uh you are. Yep. Wall <clears throat> and everybody all around them. Um I can like move up here and not provoke an opportunity attack, right? Like I'm still in his range or no? Uh I guess it doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter. Yeah, right there would be fine. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm, uh, this is still 25. I'm going to cast, uh, level two Desonant Whispers on the Cultist on the north, the one that I don't have charmed. Okay, just the one? Yep, just the one. 17 wisdom throw. Okay, let's see. 11 damage. And then. 11 damage it is. And then. Yeah, if I if I could have if I could have got like up a little bit, I would have got here so that he kind of goes as far back as he can. Okay. Um, Without provoking an opportunity attack, I don't know how that works. As long as you don't leave right around his area, you don't. Want yep. To... Okay. Yeah. 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 Because I, I yeah because I want him to like run by the people. Um, Be all scared. Goes, grabs his head, uh, screaming from the voices and whispers, anguishing his mind, and runs back into this corner here, kind of just ducking away. Perfect. And then I'm gonna <laughs> have another, drink another potion. Awesome. Anything else? That's it for me. All right. Let's see. Um. So the, the one cultist begins to lead the, all the other ones in some sort of chant in unison and brings them together uh, at the start of it. And that brings us to the Boom Lord. Uh, let's see. Yeah, with... Uh... With... Uh... You right there, Wilmore, Solrak down to the side, two arms on each side, go scratching out in each way, trying to grab you guys and do what he can to stop you. Uh, the first turn to Wilmore, uh, 27. 
27 hits. And a 12. Uh, 27 will be uh, 20, 20 points of damage total. I need you to make a strength uh, or deck save. Uh, uh, so it's 20 damage. And then it's... Uh, uh, you said uh, deck save for the yes. grapple. And a con save for the uh, other thing I got out. Um, it's an 18 for the grapple. Wilmer was only hit on the one? Yes, only on the one. Uh, I use my protective wings to block it. Uh, your protective wings will not block that, though, unfortunately. Oh, I want? Okay, then. Yeah. I mean, if I see the wind come up, I would shield. Um, well, Sorak, I believe you used the wing already and it hasn't been your turn oh, yeah. yet. Oh, yeah. He did. You haven't gotten your uh, reaction you're right, yet. You're right, you're right, you're right. That's um, fine. Uh, yeah, yeah. So I had an 18 deck save, and then I passed the con save because it's it's half, right? So it's still 10, even though it was 20 damage. Correct. Uh, yeah, yep. it was 20 total, right? Is that what it was? Yep. Yeah, exactly. and then it's yeah, then it's half for the con check. Right, so, so I got I got 13. Solrac, so I rolled um a 20 and a 28. Eight. Uh, I'm gonna right post the one you miss, but go ahead and do you damage. Use the reaction though. Oh fuck! I'm goddamn it! You just said that. It's all good. <laughs> uh, so both of them will hit, or just the one? Just the twenty-eight. Okay, so twelve damage had to six, and twelve damage had to six, so twelve total. So what you know. The twenty misses. The twenty-eight hits. Correct. That's yeah, yeah. Uh, it's it's slashing and necrotic damage. That God damn it! I hate. <laughs> and I need you to make a strength save. Have Wilmore have gotten out? Of the uh, game. Wilmore, yeah, no, he grabs you though with an 18 and holds 18. you. 18, he grabs me? And he holds you up. And with a 14, he grabs you on the other side too, Solrak. And he's got on the upper, um, he's got the two sets of arms. He's holding you guys both in the upper set of arms high up into the air. Actually, uh, I'm gonna use one more lucky. And, uh, okay. Yeah, because that's not a reaction, right? No, yeah, that's that. just a free thing. Cool. Thanks. Seventeen. Seventeen okay. still fails. So he holds uh, you up there. Uh, God, he's strong. <laughs> he is. Um, the cultist leading a chance in unison. Uh, the one uh, with Destiny Whispers. It just ends on that turn, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. He pulls himself back together, stands up out of the corner, and uh, he runs up to the other cultist and guys hear him yelling something frantically but uh you know it's just kind of like in the in the heat of the moment trying to do whatever he can with these guys uh Sorak, you're up you are grappled uh and restrained by him right now and note my rage would have died down on this 11th turn that right now right. uh and i'm going to go ahead though and it's rage time here so you're not restrained it's just oh no wait, you are restrained i'm sorry grappled and restrained. And I go ahead and use Dawnbringer again. I've been in this situation. I'm gonna um, they are supposed to be disadvantage rolls, though. I forgot to do that last time, but yeah, disadvantage. He is looking very weak, though, although he's holding you and Wilmore up in the air. Let's see if we can do with this disadvantage. First one. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> I was about to okay. do it myself. <laughs> uh, let's go for the second one. Wait, I'm going to use my inspiration. Would that make it a flat roll? Yep, go ahead and just roll more. One more. Yeah, 29. There you go. Yep, that will hit. Okay. Uh, you can see the fear in his eyes. As, or I guess he doesn't have eyes, but you see the fear in his void of a face as he sees you striking 19 down. 19 damage. 19 damage. Woof. Um, and you... Yep, no, you're still in his grasp, though, and he's... Actually, no, with that and how weak he is right now, he would drop you with that. You'd fall down prone. Um, with the Dawnbringer still in hand, of course, uh, and he's looking very weak right in front of you. Uh, 
Okay, I'm gonna use half my movement to stand up. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna demon sword him. Go for it. You do have another Dawnbringer swing. Oh, do I? Uh, yeah, okay. you do, but a 29 will hit. And, uh, what's that, 10 damage? 10 damage. Alright. <sighs> the flame energy uh, burns. Whoops, I did 50. Or, yeah, whoops. So I'll go ahead and, uh, Dawnbringer. I'm gonna say you did? <laughs> Yeah, go ahead and take that Dawnbringer swing. He is looking very beat up with this. You feel like this last swing, it could put him over the edge. Uh, 15? And 15, he just nimbly slides out of the way of that attack, uh, just barely missing him. Look over at Brutus and said, Brutus! <coughs> Finish him. Brutus goes, sees his chew toy. 30-20. 20 will hit. That's 10 damage. Ooh, 10 damage. Nice. No, and at his bones. And you see it cracks underneath and his ankle like, kind of falls down under the weight a little bit. Still standing, but like, you know, hobbling now. Ah, uh, and then 8. 8 will miss. Imagine Brutus like, like, like taking the like... Th Beamer off and just like eating it like a dog bone. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Uh, this massive bone. Um, Fang, you are up. This guy is broken, beaten in many places right now on his last leg. Alright, so I Can't take go. my quarter staff now uh, as my tattoo has kind of died down from glowing. And I go right at his legs to try and sweep him out. 28. 28 will hit. Hell yeah. Oh yeah, 13. Nice. Oh, 13. And, yeah, I was expecting the other one, but yeah. Yep, and then... I imagine I sweep his legs out, and as he's kind of like his legs are swooped out, I just kind of go down on him like that. Oh, yeah. Ew. <laughs> yeah, go down on him. He loves it. Fucking loves it. The, the Bone sticks. Lord usually is the one that goes down on him. <laughs> yeah. The Bone Lord is. The Bone Lord. So they call him the Bone Lord. Yes. Way more damage. Fang, how do, you go, how do you go down on him? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> So like I said, I I imagine just like his legs getting sweeped out from under him and he kind of he starts to like fall but while he's still in midair, I come down with quarter staff, smack him down real hard and from the contact of my quarter staff, he nails the ground and bones just shatter and fall across the floor. Bones just scatter everywhere and just <laughs> Falls into pieces. This necrotic energy washes over the room, and you guys can feel that darkness just dissipate around you. Um, the cultists up to the north, still chanting, they look down to see their uh, Lord of Bones no longer standing, and uh, look around and close the book and put it away. <laughs> That's it. Their, their suggestion has been fulfilled. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, so at the top, or I guess that brings us to one of the cultists uh, still doing his thing, but Wilmore, you're up. Uh, so did they, like, stop doing anything? Like, what did they do? They're no longer, Are they like... they're no longer chanting. Uh, the four that you have charmed have closed their books, but the one that is not charmed is confused as hell is what is going on right now and why they are together and trying to banish their lord and like, do they look hostile the one does the green one does he looks like he's trying to figure out what the fuck is going on and and all right end this. so i tell you what i'm gonna i'm gonna walk i'm just gonna walk casually in there I'm gonna open the doors like an old spaghetti western mm -hmm. i'm just gonna look at all of them and just go you can either leave or die. And then I'm going to cast Polymorph on myself and turn myself into a T-Rex. 
Oh, ridiculous. And just let out like a roar! Alright, let me just, let's see. Um, let me go ahead and throw this down. Yeah. Like, like my head's like hitting the ceiling. It's like I'm like still ducking a little. Cause yeah, you are completely I don't quite hunched fit. over in here. They're, <laughs> your head is than God. Yeah, your head is pretty much touching the tops of their heads from where you are standing. And uh, with that, let's see. I'm trying to select them all right now. Actually, I'll just do one. Wait, what did you turn into? So big? Giant Tyrannosaurus Rex. Oh yeah. Whoops. Oh, I disappeared. Um. You disappeared, or the T-Rex did? I don't know, my vision changed. Uh, I can't... Oh, there he is, there he is. Yeah, so let me just... Ba -ba -bum. I can't right-click right now for some reason. There we go. Open Monster Stat Rock. <laughs> right. Yep. I'm doing, um... Uh, ba -ba -bum -ba -bum. Let's see. Uh... Pretty much all, of, or the two of them look frightened. The other two that are still charmed are still kind of like confused what to do. Or I'm sorry, I didn't roll one more. Um, yeah, he's, he's kind of into it too. Um, looks over at the dragon and says, uh, as he yells up to you, Wilmer, and says, Live or die for the Lord of Bones. We choose death. And uh, it's going to be... I mean, you're still a T-Rex, though. Uh, you tried to pretty much... I tried to see if they would listen and run away, but 20, 21, and 18 is actually pretty solid rolls. That's tough, yeah. Um, so, the two of them look frightened, but one of them, or the rest of them, aren't running anywhere. You are T-Rex Wilmore right now, so... Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you got that in Wilmore. mind. <laughs> Alright, anything else? I'm just going to move my token over here. Uh, nah, man, I'm, I'm, I can't... I can't attack or anything, right? Yeah. Yeah, not right now. Let me go ahead and give. Does this token have vision? My thing is being really yeah. slow. Yep, I see them all. So let's do it. Okay, cool. I'm just like standing in the doorway, brings holding up, the door. Yes, it brings us to the orange one who, uh, you know, his thing has been fulfilled. So he comes running on up to the uh, T Rex. And he's going to go try to attack him. Um. <laughs> Yep, exactly. <laughs> Natural 20! Oh, <laughs> <no>. <laughs> Hilarious. Um, so he goes and, whoops, does eight points of piercing damage on, on T-Rex Wilmore. Big eight. Yes. And I gotta do a... Uh... Yeah, con save. Oh, come on, where's my con? Advantage. Extremely slow tonight. Um, goes to try to take another stab at you, but misses that one. Um, yeah, we're good. Cool. The green one, he's. Uh, yeah, he looks up at you, takes a couple steps back, and shoots out a sacred flame. Um, a nine to hit will not hit. Uh, brings us to wreck. You can crawl right. under the T Rex's body if you want. Okay, cool. <laughs> So I'm going to Perfect. Uh Brutus, come with me. And I go ahead. Run on over there. As he as he goes over this like comically large nut sack just like raises the top. <laughs> I'm gonna oh. And and as I go under, like as I go through it, and I see the nut sag, I know I'm gonna hit it. I literally just like, like let my head hit it as hard as possible, so it's like a light nut tab to a dinosaur. <laughs> I take one, one D four. It's, it's still a nut tab. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, Brutus is lucky. He's a dog. He has. Yeah, no you you think stuff. to yourself mm -hmm. like even for a T Rex, those are kind of big. Yeah, that's pretty hard. <laughs> <laughs> like, that, that, that's weird. <laughs> um. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna go ahead and, and uh, attack. But um. I think there's a thing I can do to attack two people at once. Sleeping attack? Yeah. 
I'm gonna go ahead and use my sweeping attack. Uh, and attack both of these guys. Luke, can you mm. see in that room now? Nope, not yet. Really? Everyone else really? can, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. The well, they're all, all up there. Yeah, but I have yeah, we're all in vision the shared, too, though. Uh, just, just, like, put your token in the room for a second. Just, just yeah, go I'll, move yourself I'll, up I'll, there. I'll move you up there, see if you can see. Uh, finally. Can you see in there? Now I can. Oh, that's... You should be able to see... Like, there's not a wall blocking your vision. You should be able to see... Yeah, but it's like it's like a I have a radius of light that's following. Yeah, me. thirty. His view is thirty feet. And it's really dark. And oh, it's because you have light on and not vision, for some reason. Is it my cantrip? But for light? me, Dawnbringer can no. see one hundred and twenty feet, so I don't think I have any issues seeing. Uh, not one hundred and twenty feet, but it's still further. It's yeah. Um. Okay. So go ahead and roll. Do your damage. Do your attacks. Okay, so for a sweeping attack, I uh, just that. use unsuperior to, to deal damage to another creature within 15. Yeah, so, feet. Okay, so if okay. your attack so would first, hit. First, just Dawnbringer. Yeah. Okay. And these guys right, are actually that before, so. Okay, that's a 25 and 23 damage to the orange one. Okay, uh, he's not undead. Oh, okay. It, this is just regular dudes. These yeah. peoples. So, uh, 14 damage. Yeah, that first yes. one, you cleave right through yep. him, though. And that's Sweet. your blade keeps on swinging through and going to the next one, so you can roll a d10 if you want. Uh, were you doing a sweeping attack? Yeah, buddy. Yeah, so go ahead and roll a d10 then. I'm just going to move him over. Oh, yeah. And seven right there. Nice. Yep. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and use him. I second uh, Dawnbringer attack on him. Go for it. Oh, yeah, nat 20! Nat 20. Mm. <laughs> and with that, you just completely cut him in half. And he goes down to the ground as well. That's lightsaber in your hands, just cleaving through everyone. Oh. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, Send Brutus after this next one. I don't think I have enough movement. To... Actually, I can move five feet more. Yeah, five more feet would be perfect. Can I tackle him? Yeah, cool. Perfect. Cooler. And uh, swing Demon Sword at this biatch. Oh yeah, 21, and that's 13 damage. 13 damage, oof. That he cleaved a uh, nice solid hit into him. Uh, he just cries out in anguish and holding his gut where he sliced and He's got one last bit of breath into him. Brutus sees the gut. <laughs> he thinks it's like a chew tour, and he goes to bite for it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, these guys got removed from the combat tracker somehow. Just throw him back in. Um. Yeah, Brutus goes for it. First one's 10, so it's him. Yeah, that'll miss. Let's see the second one. 19. That'll hit. And that's 9 damage. And with that, Brutus jumps up and takes him down. Yeah, Chomps buddy. away. And he, like, literally, like, takes out his intestine that was, like, hanging out and just, like, like starts, like, shaking it up, like, you know, when a dog gets your sock and doesn't want to, like, go <laughs> <laughs> like, I like, ah! Just tosses up in the air to himself and catches it. Yeah. <laughs> Dozer does that. He grabs stuff and he throws it up in the air to himself and catches it. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anything else for you? Bang. All right. Um, I try to move up through the dinosaur to see if I see anyone else. Oh, look, I do see one more person. Okay, cool. So I'll two. move all the way up to him. Oh, there's the second one. <laughs> nice. I'll go for... Uh... All right, I'll stand here then. Your vision uh, should see all of that. That's crazy. <laughs> well, I was... Uh... There's candles in this room, though. That's illuminating it. Hmm. And I got a bald, shiny head. That's right. Reflective. All right. Uh... The dinosaur had three testicles. It might be because I'm on the <laughs> and you guys aren't, but I don't know. Maybe that's why... Hey, Fang, can I get a dex check from my balls? 
25 will <laughs> 25 will fail that dex check real big. <laughs> They're losing. 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 And with that one, we knock him backwards, and that cultist, he joins his Baron Ward in the death as he wished. Oh, yeah. Bonus action. Flurry of bows. I come running and use my quarterstaff to propel me as I do, like, a scissor kick right in his fucking kisser. Ooh, that's sick. Yeah, it is. The Liu Kang. But, yeah, but I miss. Uh, 14 will hit. Fuck yeah! Jesus! <coughs> Max damage! And how does Fang do it other than the bicycle kick or the scissor kick? Uh, yeah, so. In addition. My, uh, like, the, the meaty top part of my foot smacks his ear, knocks him out, breaks his neck, and his other side of the, his ear starts bleeding blood as he just falls cold. No one makes me bleed my own blood. Oh. And he falls down and dies. And with that, Ugh. you guys stand around a room full of corpses. First time corpses, sometimes some of them two time corpses, three time corpses of the zombies and ghouls in the room and the Bone Lord bones scattered across and everything destroyed in here. Uh heat of the battle has seemed to secede as you guys standing in this room right now it seems to have been some sort of ritual room with that huge necrotic uh, esoteric symbol inscribed on the ground down there um, and these cultists to Merkel, the Lord of Bones uh, bringing him back and helping him with their cause. You guys have put them to waste and Sorak the Dawnbringer keeps on humming and buzzing, pointing out into the east. As, uh, first things first, have that second of darkness, I actually grab the dark bringer in my hands and literally just kiss it. Mwah! Thank you. And then I, uh, follow on to eastward, to, uh, wherever it's pointing. And we, is this, this is just a room, so wreck. Oh, there's a door right there. Can you not see that opening? No. I can see it. I can see it. I can see it. All right, I'll, I'll move you guys through there, and we'll see how Fang's vision changes, if it does. Cool. I'm going to um, use Jesus my command word again wheel. to have my uh, uh, Drift Globe come back to us. Aha! Uh -huh. uh, but now I don't see the... Ah, uh, there's the group. Nice. All right. Uh, let's see. My DM token in here. All right, so you guys begin to traverse through these dark, dingy underground hallways of the Uth Tower. The eerie silence seems to fall over the area. You guys lay all these creatures and humanoids to waste. Uh, Wilmer, you're no longer T-Rex, right? No longer T-Rex. Okay. Uh, Cuomo is coming with us too, right? Vamanos. Can you grab my uh, or something? My drift globe, or just like just just give me the, the vision. I don't know how to do that. Yep. Um, Maybe that's just easier than me dragging it. You guys are all stacked on top oh, of perfect. each other. There we go. Ah, I see doors now. All right, uh, I'm going to look at where Fang's standing and downwards. And uh, see which way Dawnbringer is pulsating. Yeah. Yeah. Dawnbringer continuously seems to be going to the east. Um, oh. Maybe a bit, a bit north, perhaps, but to the east is. So this way, where like Fang is. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, my clue's pointing this way. I'm gonna drink another potion <laughs> or two. Just I have a raging clue. Yeah, I'm gonna actually uh, <laughs> go 
Before we go through these doors, I give a potion of greater restoration to uh, to Brutus, and I'm going to take one. I'm going to uh, close my DM screen real quick and join back in with the regular build and not the beta. Hopefully that'll fix my slowness. So you guys, uh, if you guys handle whatever quick role play before you guys uh, explore. Wait, wait, wait. You guys, uh, everybody, you guys are all a bit pretty beat up right now, right? Yeah, I'm, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm drinking some health potions right now a little bit. Oh, wait, wait, don't do 17. that. Don't do it. Did you already take them? Sure, nah. What's, what's going on? Well, I do have a nice six pack of my golden gold ales, so I was gonna give you guys each one so we could. But I don't really want to get well. drunk down here. <laughs> I feel like that may not be the best idea. Four D four plus four. I'll, I'll have one.